leave without cuffs, I'm not going to be carrying in here, am I? Sorry, I'm uh, uh. You're a man of faith, Mr. Lambert. Faith, Mr. Benedict. It depends what you mean by faith. Are you a believer, Mr. Lambert? Do you put your trust in someone other than yourself? For me to believe in something, I have to have proof, something tangible. I need to see it, hear it, feel it. That's how I work, that's how my people want me to work. This place, Mr. Lambert, symbolises centuries of belief and faith, of which absolutely no proof is necessary. Just the words in this book, some of which are spoken by a man whose very existence is the cornerstone of most people's faith. Don't you find it extraordinary, Mr. Lambert? I've got no problem with that, Mr. Benedict. People can believe what they want and who they want. They come to me because they want a job done. If you like, they have a faith in me to carry it out to the best of my abilities and deliver on time. But that's not faith, Mr. Benedict. That's reputation. Indeed, Mr. Lambert, indeed. Your reputation is why you're here. <laughs> oh, that's good. I thought I was here to marry her co over there. Shall we get down to business? As you're aware, I'm the major shareholder of Benedict's PLC. The organisation have put plans in place to expand overseas. We're currently looking to acquire some prime real estate in the Far East. A good place for us to become a major player in the global market. I'm listed. You've been brought to my attention because of the work you've done for various associates of mine. You've become highly recommended, Mr Lambert. Because of your discretion. Discretion costs, Mr Benedict. Sacrifice is the ultimate cost, Mr Lambert. Discretion is remunerable. So what part do I play in this global domination? It would appear that various documents of a very sensitive nature have gone missing from offices which we own in West Smithfield. How is not important? That's been dealt with already. But the extreme sensitivity of these documents could put in jeopardy all I've worked for for the past 20 years. Now that could seriously offer our expansion plans in the Far East. Well, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but they're probably on the internet right now, being downloaded by some kid in Botswana. Thank you for your concern, Mr Lambert, but the documents are encrypted. But it will only be a matter of time before the encryption is compromised. Only the documents back and the perpetrator of the crime. Sounds like a job for the old Bill, Mr Benedict. I'm not one to turn down work, but... Mr Lambert, the police are preoccupied with dispatching protesters and innocent bystanders. I've got time to retrieve these documents, and I'm off to New York on Friday for a conference. I need the documents back by then. Friday? As in three days Friday? Correct, Mr Lambert. Your powers of deduction supersede anything the local constabulary can muster. You're having a laugh. How am I supposed to track down some light-fingered nomad with the Enigma code in three days? I rarely have time for you, Mr Lambert. And besides, I'm sure a man of your considerable resources and expertise shouldn't find this too taxing. If you're as good as your reputation, I have complete faith in you. I'm sorry, Mr Benedict. I'm going to have to give this one a wide berth. Maybe in a week I could sort something out, but three days. Sit down, Mr Lambert. You're being hired to do a job at which you're being rewarded quite substantially. In meeting me here today, you enter into a contract of agreement which terminates when I say it does, or the operation is complete. I've no time for games, Mr Lambert. And besides, finding these documents would actually be more beneficial to you. How do you mean? The documents contain a certain client list from one of my associates, who I believe you've had dealings with before. As I said, Mr Lambert, these documents of an extremely sensitive nature, and the wrong hands can bring your career to an abrupt stop. Oh, who puts stuff like that in the document nowadays? Haven't you people moved on and started to use memory sticks or hard drives? We did, Mr Lambert. 
They got stolen. And you said you never had time for humour. Friday morning, Mr. Lambert. Thank you, my son. Forgive me, Father, I'm about to sin.